Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. In this platform, we don't go with propaganda or lies. We look at facts as they are. About two days ago, regarding a shagwa while at an interview with NTV, insinuated that the Kamba community is joining Gema. And that was interpreted to mean that come the next election, the mountain and the Ukambani region might work together. In this video, I want us to have a look at the numbers. In the likely event that Rigadi teams up with Kalonzo Musioka and Raila Odinga teams up with William Samoy Ruto. What are the numbers? To understand the numbers, you don't need rocket science. Just look on how Kenyans voted in 2022. The numbers will, in one way or the other, be a little bit the same come the next election. There will be no big difference. In 2022, the three Ukambani counties, that's Machakos, Makweni and Kitui, gave Raila Odinga 769,381. Those are the votes Raila Odinga got from the three Ukambani counties. So we assume that those are Kalonzo Musioka supporters in Ukambani. Machakos, you can see the figures there. Machakos, Raila had 304809, Ruto 101446, Makweni, Raila had 229172, Ruto 59295, Kitui, Raila had 235400, Ruto 89419. Total votes Raila Udinga got in Ukambani. The three Ukabani counties, 769, 381. So put that aside. Regarding Ashagwa and his team are on record saying they gave William Ruto 48% of the total votes Ruto got across the country. I hope regarding and his team, they have done their mathematics well. And now that they are the ones who came up with that figure, it's clear the figure is favoring them. It can't be more than that, but it can be less. 48% of 7.1 million votes that Ruto got. So the entire mountain gave Ruto about 3.3 million votes. Just add 3.3 to the 769, 381 votes Kalonzo gave Raila Odinga. Let's round the Kalonzo's votes to 800. 3.3 .3 plus 800, 4.1 million. So Rigadi plus Kalonzo, they start with 4.1 million. That's the number of votes they'll start with in the event of an election. Ruto, if you remove the 3.3 from 7.1, Ruto remains with 3.7 million votes. Add that to Raila Odinga 6.1. And to get 6.1, just deduct the 6.9 million votes Raila Odinga got, deduct 800,000 from that. Raila remains with 6.1. Add Ruto's 3.7 to Raila 6.1. You get 9.8 million votes. Yes. So, Raila plus Ruto, they start with 9.8. Regadi plus Kalonzo, they start with 4.1. You don't need rocket science. <laughs> you just add these figures. And you'll know how that trace will be. 
So this is the starting point. Some will say, oh, Ruth has become unpopular, Rahel has become unpopular. I'm not refuting that. But this is the baseline <laughs> where that race will start. It will start 9.8 million against 4.1 million. And again, I'm assuming that the entire mountain, the way it voted in 2022, is how it will still vote come the next election. And we know what is happening on the mountain. Already there is that split, Mount Kenya West and East. But I'm just giving regarding the entire mountain vote, the way it did vote in 2022. So those lying to Kalonzo and Rigadi Gashagwa, that come Kalonzo, come Rigadi, that they will beat Ruton. They'll not be able to beat Ruton. And that's something I keep on explaining in this forum. I want Kenyans to wake up. Kenyans to understand that the only way to beat William Ruton come the next election is for Kenyans to go the tribeless way, the Gen Z way. In June, Gen Zs were able to push William Ruto to the corner because Kenyans were tribeless. But with Kalonzo come, Rigadi come, William Ruto will win with the landslides. And that's a fact. Anybody doubting, continue doubting, continue living in denial, and wait for things to come out the way I'm trying to explain them here. But this is how things will turn out in the event of an election. And now, if Kalonzo Musioka teams up with Rigadi Gashagwa, it will also depend who will be their running mates. If Kalonzo picks somebody from the mountain as his running mate, then it's very clear the rest of the country will rebel against that an alliance. If Kalonzo picks a different candidate, maybe from Western or from Coast, as his running mate, then that can also alter these figures in one way or the other. But mainly, things will remain as they were in 2022. As I conclude, William Ruto is in the process of reorganizing his cabinet. And some names are being mentioned, most of the position of internal security. We are getting some names from the mountain, the likes of Mutai Kagwe. If I was to advise William Ruto, Ruto should not make a blunder of trying to please the mountain. Let the mountain miss William Ruto. Let the mountain long for William Ruto. And the only way the mountain can long for William Ruto is by William Ruto giving them a blackout in his government. We can't have a cabinet of about 22 with the seven individuals coming from the mountain. It would be better for William Ruto to reduce that huge number. Let us have maybe two or three personalities coming from the mountain. The remaining positions should be distributed to other Kenyan communities. That will also help William Ruto in easily replacing the rebelling Mount Kenya votes. If he still insists on pleasing the mountain, he'll end up losing the mountain and also losing these other Kenyan communities. So Ruto has to make a choice. Either to go with the mountain or to go with other Kenyans. And we know the mountain's route is proving to be very slippery. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, Subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know.
from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.